the Japanese Ministry of Defense will build two ballistic missile defense ships, which will be among the largest warships Japan has produced since World War II. The two ships would replace the land-based Aegis ashore systems. The two Aegis super destroyers are to have a displacement of approximately 20,000 tons, a length of 690 feet, and a beam of 130 feet. Making them one of the largest and heaviest vessels operated by the JMSDF. Compared to the Maya class destroyers, which have a displacement of 8,200 tons and a beam of 22.2 meters. The Izumo class helicopter destroyers have a displacement of 19,800 tons, 27,000 tons with a full load, with a length of 800 feet and a beam of 124 feet. The new warships will have a crew of 110 members, and crew quarters will be upgraded to facilitate long deployments near Japan. The Japanese Ministry of Defense describes the need for two new warships, to allow the other Aegis vessels to focus on other missions, and reiterates the need for ships with superior capabilities to the existing Aegis destroyers. Not only able to deal with current ballistic missile threats, but also neutralize hypersonic glide vehicle threats such as Chinese DF-17. To accomplish this, the vessels will be outfitted with Raytheon SM-6 missiles, a ship-launched variant of the Type 12 SSM, as well as other unspecified capabilities. In addition, the ships should be able to accommodate future missiles in development, such as the US hypersonic missile interceptor. The ships must contain a minimum of 64 VLS cells, 48 VLS on the front deck and 32 VLS over the helicopter hangar, to keep all of these missiles. The two new ships would relieve the present eight Aegis destroyers of their BMD responsibilities allowing them to operate as a deterrent against maritime invasions in the southwest of Japan. Two Maya class, two Atago class, and four Congo class destroyers make up the eight JMSDF Aegis destroyers currently in service. To compensate for North Korea's improved ballistic missile operational capabilities, including the ability to execute multiple simultaneous launches and increasing heights in their trajectories, necessitated the construction of a new ship with greater interception capabilities than its predecessor. The two new destroyers would be large enough to conduct missions in rough weather, and their improved crew quarters would enable them to conduct extended deployments. The Japanese Ministry of Defense is likely to press for the commissioning of the first ship in 2027 and the second in 2028. This time is required for the development of the J-7B Aegis weapon system that will be installed aboard these vessels. According to Lockheed Martin, J-7B is the integration of SPY-7 radar into J-7B, which is the most recent software installed on Aegis ships by the JMSDF. For the record, the Missile Defense Agency successfully tested the J-7B system in front of the JMSDF in August 2022. The Maya class guided missile destroyer is an upgraded version of the Atago class, which has been in service with the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force since 2007. The Maya-class ships have superior threat-detecting capabilities compared to their predecessors. The Maya-class guided missile destroyer preserves the basic design of the Atago class, but its hull has been extended to accommodate future cannons and laser point defense systems. To accommodate greater armament, the standard displacement of the Maya class has been increased to 8,200 tons from 7,700 tons for the Atago class. The destroyer has a crew of 300 personnel, 
It has a total length of 170 meters, a maximum width of 21 meters, a depth of 12 meters, and a draft of 6.2 meters. The primary armament of the Maya class guided missile destroyers is the new Aegis Baseline J-7 combat system, while its secondary weapons consist of a 5 inches per 62 caliber gun, a vertical launching system, an SSM anti-ship missile launcher, two high-performance 20mm cannons, and two torpedo launch tubes. The Aegis combat system is equipped with superior command and control as well as weapon control capabilities, allowing it to simultaneously engage air, land, and surface targets. The Maya class is also equipped with SM-3 Block 2A and SM-6 ballistic missile interceptors. The RIM-66 SM-2 surface-to-air missiles and RIM-162 evolved Sea Sparrow missiles significantly strengthen its anti-ship missile capacity, 